my sweet hazel. Everyone, welcome back to my channel today we are going to be tackling this honest to goodness complete disaster my allergies have been going crazy so I am going to deep clean the kitchen and my bedroom and some other super dusty places in the house and we are going to get some motivation I'm going to start cleaning in the kitchen tonight it is later on in the day so I'm going to take care of this cleaning up my dinner dishes uh, tonight we actually had green chef delivered which was such a lifesaver because honestly you guys i have been so overwhelmed by all of the busyness of the season i have put too much on my plate i am definitely a yes person i just want to help and i just want to be there for people and it has overwhelmed me because i've got so much going on and i know you guys can completely relate so when green chef came to the door i was like oh my gosh yes because my daughter actually said, you really need to find new recipes, mom. And I always fall into the comfort zone of the normal things that I make. We have really picky eaters in the house. So I get really discouraged, but I love when I have a meal delivery because it kind of is a no brainer on what I'm gonna cook. I don't have to think about it. It comes with everything in the bag, an awesome, easy to read recipes. I get to keep the recipe for a later date if I choose to, and it makes life so much easier, especially with the busyness of the season or just life in general. Just having it come to the door is like, yes. So on this particular night, I actually had maple glazed chicken with pear, walnut, and blue cheese cabbage salad. So, so good. And mashed potatoes. I mean, yum. It was a winner indeed and i love feeling like a little chef honestly because i don't come up with really fancy recipes it's got to come from green chef i'm telling you i love it it's perfect for any day of the week even like you want to do a date night it's so much fun so if that's something you guys are looking for or want to give it a shot highly highly recommend it it has always been a home run every single time and you can get $80 off plus free shipping. And you'll be able to also click the link in my description box if you want more information. But I'm telling you guys, take the guesswork out of dinner and have dinner delivered to you. It is amazing. So I had all this footage where I went and got a sweet puppy and it was so sweet and I was going to make a whole vlog about it and I accidentally erased every bit of it and honestly I'm so heartbroken because I wanted you guys to see the expression of the kid's face when we got the puppy and brought it home. It was a huge surprise nobody knew and then the day before i told isabella so she could help the kids get on the bus and everything chris didn't even know but everything fell into place you guys know that my heart has been longing for something so long and the baby topic is still in the air never say never but i figured i had always seen myself with two dogs so 
I'm gonna introduce you guys to my sweet baby real quick. I'm so sad that footage was gone. You guys, it was the sweetest thing ever and that's what happens when you delete a whole bunch of footage off your camera and don't pay attention. So, one second. So I wanna welcome my sweet Hazel. Sweet Hazel to our family. She is a perfect addition. She is absolutely my love. She has filled my heart in so many ways, you guys. I cannot even tell you. She is about two pounds right now. I've never had a small dog. I've only ever had Labradors, and then I've had some like retriever mixes, but Labs have always been my dog of choice. And then with my allergies and the shedding, we got Ruby, which was such a blessing to my life. But I just felt like Ruby needed a friend, and Mama's heart needed something. So this is my baby. I have been wanting a King Charles Cavalier for about seven years since Josiah was born and I knew that it wouldn't be something I could have because of the shedding so I got a Cavachon. She is a mixed breed. She was the puppy nobody wanted and I don't know how. I think honestly she's too beautiful for nobody to want but I really feel like God just kept her for me. I really do. So. This is my baby, Hazel. I was really stuck on the names Georgia and Hazel, and it was Georgia for a hot minute. But then there was just something about her, and I'm like, look at her face. That's a Hazel. I am so obsessed with her. I'm so in love. The kids are absolutely in love with her. They have been so sweet and so amazing, and I am just smitten. It's like having a baby. The nights are sleepless, and I'm just... I'm so overwhelmed with love for her. So since I can't make a whole vlog about it, I decided I'm just gonna pop her in here real quick because I cannot hold her from you guys anymore. Look at her face. Isn't she just perfection? I love her. Two pounds. So I wanted to show her to you. She's gonna be really frisky. She's gonna be in all my videos. She's my girl. And Ruby is, hmm, Ruby's been the baby of the family and now it's like she's graduated. Now she's the big sister and she has got no time for this puppy behavior. I hope they become friends. She's sweet to her, but she's not really in love with her yet. Look at that face. I love her. Say welcome to the family, Hazel. She has definitely been such a sweet blessing to my heart. My arms were really empty, my heart was really lonely, and you know, I just wanna let you guys know, you can feel that way and still be absolutely in love with everyone here, but you can still long for more, and that's okay. So, while we're still on the topic of having baby number six, we are gonna just have a sweet puppy and see where the Lord leads us, but like I said, never say never. Because I figured, oh, this will just, this will fix it. This will fix it. And I still long for another baby. But we shall see.
seems to follow Like a shadow dark and cold to the touch You guys, the amount of laundry in this house is absolutely insane. I am currently still working on it. No kidding. It is just coming and coming. And now that the weather is getting colder here, we have larger items to wash and it has been crazy. I feel like I cannot even catch up. My room is one place where I feel like my allergies are the worst and I have caught the cats laying on my bed which is a big no-no. So I am going to clean everything on here and then dust very, very well. My goal is to have no cats in here. The dogs don't bother me as much. Ruby, she does sometimes as long as we keep her bathed but I kept her off the bed because she was in heat and it was just a mess and no. So. The little puppy does hop on the bed here every so often. We have had some sleepless nights with her, so I've put her in the bed. You guys have any suggestions on crate training? She cries so much, and my heart cannot take it. So you saw a little mist. Just, that's what she does. She cannot get comfortable. And then I stepped out for a minute, and I'm going to get the vacuum to vacuum the mattress. My allergies have been just like crazy because my kitty cats have been just coming in here. And so um, I'm about to ban my room, but I'm gonna vacuum the mattress. But look what I saw. Oh, there's my little hazelnut. My little baby girl. Down, down to the ground. You're dragging me. I am going to put my allergy blend in the vacuum. It was lemon, peppermint, copiaba, and lavender. And you guys, it smells so good. You can diffuse this. You can make a roller ball with it or put it in the vacuum like I'm doing. And I felt like it made the entire room just so fragrant and it helps. It really does help with my allergies. So I'm going to vacuum my bed. You want to see the water okay this this is a bed that has always had a protector on it we have never slept on this bed without a protector there is a protector on the mattress and then i put a different or another i'm out of breath because that was hard another protector on it this is what the water looks like i don't know why maybe it's from all the oils but it's definitely like you can't tell but it's cloudy. So my thought is to vacuum the mattress just in case. And then I know I read that dust mites don't like citrus. So I'm going to take a cotton ball of some citrus fresh oil and put it under my mattress in like little places um, under like where the box spring is. And maybe that will help with any dust mites because I'm allergic to that. I always feel like you can tell the state of my cleaning and how far I'm into it by looking at my mom bun. It is looking like a hot mess right now. 
I'm going to continue vacuuming out the air purifier. This is something that runs every day. If you've heard in my videos, a little humming in the back, that is what it is. And we try to clean this out regularly, but I noticed that it needed another good cleaning. I don't know if you guys know this, but cleaning your baseboards is so important. Not only does dust collect on the little edge there, but did you know that it can also hold a lot of odors in the house? Just using your little attachments here and going along the baseboards every time you vacuum will keep your house so fresh. So I am actually chatting with my friend Amy Darley on the Marco while I do this laundry. I'm telling you, this Marco app is amazing. I call it the lazy mom's way of staying in touch because you can do what I'm doing here while I'm talking and having a conversation with her and then she can respond anytime she wants. So, so great for moms. I also am going to organize my husband's drawers here. When I put laundry away, I like to go ahead and do this. I feel like when it's like crazy and we're just putting laundry away or we're getting our clothes out quickly, everything gets so just scattered and unorganized. So when I put my clothes away, I will always take a little extra time and organize the drawers. I'm going to finish my room by vacuuming everything including the laminate flooring i want to do this before i go to bed and i'm also diffusing that oil in here so it makes the air feel so good is it just me but when you really deep clean it's like the house feels cleaner i don't know what it is it's like the air is lighter what is that why is it like that is it because the dust is out of the air does anybody know So we are gonna probably start renovating some of the house next year and I'm thinking about this bathroom. I think I might paint it the same alabaster color that I painted the rest of the house. What do you think? Do you like the sagey green? Or maybe should I go for 
white or the color that's in the living room. I feel like it will just make it feel so much more open. I have loved, 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 loved the transformation in the living room. It really does just bring in the light and just make everything feel so airy. I was walking through the house the other day and I noticed how horribly stained this was with dust. I have never noticed it before, so I knew that this had to get on my list. I might just have to end up replacing it. I don't know why dust stains so bad, but I decided to use my attachment here and work through some of the little crinkles here. There were also a lot of dead bugs, a lot of bugs in there. So this was really a good time to clean this out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's cleaning. It was a mess, but I can tell you I am breathing so much better now. When January comes, I am going to be going through this house, honestly, probably before. I'm gonna be going through this house and we're getting rid of all the toxic products and we are gonna have all natural cleaning and it's gonna be so fun and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I hope you are ready for the holidays. I hope you've got a ton of cleaning going on. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.